All right, Kim, uh, we'll start off just uh, again, reminding folks, if you have a question for Kim, just hit the raise hand function or send me a message on uh, on your Zoom um, opportunities here. But uh, but Kim, why don't we start off with just how you think this week has gone for your team uh, here in Portland? So far, so good. Uh, I think we've had a, a really great performance against Portland. Uh, they scored a goal with three minutes left from a set piece. But overall, again, uh, we our performance is something to be proud of. Uh, it was a step in the right direction. And then the other day against uh, Old Rain, uh, a win, 2-0. Uh, Good performance again. Uh, we did some rotation. Almost the whole squad have, have played a little bit. That helps as well. Uh, and now we just have one to go uh, tomorrow. All right, we will go to some questions. We'll start with Taylor. Taylor, go ahead. Hi, yes. Um, can you talk about a little bit uh, the momentum the team is feeling kind of after that 2-0 win against the rain? Um, for us, I think actually we felt like it changed a little bit the two weeks ago. We played against uh, the boys in the academy. We did a, a really good, especially second half, uh, we felt when we, like I said, that we did a good game against Portland and now to win against uh, Old Rain, of course, it, it helps that we also can see that in the result that we're moving in the right direction, not just words. It's, it's actually uh, the result as well that showed that. And then um, can you talk a little bit about what impressed you about, um, what about Fisher impressed you enough to draft her and the signer? Um, she wasn't kind of, on like a lot of the big watch lists. And so it was just like an excellent scouting grab there. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Uh, I think uh, our team did a great job there to to find her. Uh, for me, she's one of the most talented players that we saw in the draft. So we were happy, but a little bit surprised that we had a chance to take her with, with the pick 16, if I remember right. Um she have showed that she's a great player. She fits very well into how I want to play. Uh, but but also great personality, I would say. So her future is bright for sure. Thank you. All right, we'll go to Jeff Carlisle and then we'll go to Tim. So Jeff, go ahead. Hi, Kim. Um, you know, I'm wondering how much of an opportunity for this season is it to kind of maybe turn the page, you know, in the last couple of years, just given, you know, obviously with the the reports and, and the abuse scandal and it, it weighed heavy on the players. And so, you know, how much of an opportunity do you think it's just to, to kind of turn the page and maybe have more of the focus be on the soccer for, for this upcoming year? Yeah, I, th I think it's it's a fair question. Uh, I think for us, there is in the house, uh, in the club, that we we felt that already, like uh, in the middle of last year, that we we were moving in the right direction, both off and on the pitch. The whole club is so positive. Things that's going on right now, but I understand it looks a little bit different when for people that is not so close, they're standing a little bit outside. But we're doing so many good things and. And for us, I mean, we have a team that uh, have been together now, the most of them for one year. There are many young players that have been taking a step the uh, step already. I think they are more prepared than when it comes into the next season. We also felt, felt that we needed to add some quality with the players with experience from, from this league. And so we're happy to have Abby and Carson and, and Paige here, for example. I know the club have worked hard with the... Uh, different things uh, off the pitch. Uh, the media are doing an excellent job. Hopefully we'll have a general manager here soon. Uh, for the staff, the same thing that uh, the biggest part have been together now for one year. And uh, it's the same for us, like with play. When you have played or worked together for one year, everything makes it so much easier. You don't need to talk. You know where the other people, where, the, where they are and what they, what they can or what they need help with. So, so that helps a lot. And, and also there we have had some quality with uh, Bev as assistant coach. So we are in a good place right now. And, and now we just need to take the next step uh, on the pitch. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you've got the World Cup in the middle of the summer. I mean, it, it's, it's probably going to be impossible for some players 
to not maybe have one eye on that. I mean, as a manager, how do you how do you handle that? How do you how do you manage that situation so that you know, yeah, players are going to think about it, but how do you kind of keep them present in the moment? Um, I think for 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 us right now is is the focus here uh, to control what we can uh, can control instead of what we can't control. If some of the play, players will be in the World Cup in the summer, that will be a later question. But I, need, I think we need to do everything we can now to be prepared for the league start, and then we will see if we're gonna have a uh, a problem. Let's say if we have too many players to go in for the, the World Cup. Uh, one last question: um, What are your thoughts on on VAR being introduced? Uh, I think for. For all of us, is uh, sometimes it's really good because uh, that helps the referee. But uh, of course, uh, um, yeah, I'm leaving it there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> if it works, it works. Then it's good. Yeah. 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 It helped us the other night there, Kim. So let's. Uh... It did. Yeah. So it's. For now we love it. <laughs> um, Tim, go ahead. Thanks for doing this, Coach. Um, we've had a great week, and and entering the start of the season next week, um, what are your thoughts in terms of are there areas that you still want to emphasize in training, or um, things you you feel the team can do better ahead of that first game? Uh, I, I feel that we we're getting ready. I will say to to be honest. Uh, of course, there are all those details. Uh, that we can do better and we keep working. Uh, we're doing better and better for every week, but I feel we are ready enough. Uh, and I think we showed it in this week with the performance against Portland and Old Rain. And thinking ahead to the, the Women's World Cup, I know the focus is on right now, but in terms of you're going to lose a number of players during that period, likely, um, do you feel that you've got the depth now or will you still be looking for a few players to add perhaps from the uh um with the w league team um of course uh what we're gonna do is that we're gonna make uh, a list um so we are prepared uh when and if we have to add players uh that's gonna help us under summer uh but I think that will be a little bit later question. Like I said earlier, I think right now is to control what we can control and have focus on the next game. If we start to think too much what's going to happen in a couple of months, then I think it's easy to do that we not have the concentration here now. Thank you, Coach. Okay, back to Jeff Carlisle. Sorry, I was all done. I did, I just didn't put my hand down. So sorry about that. <laughs> okay, Taylor, are you? Uh, did you have a question? I did. Yeah, I didn't want to just like ask five questions to start it though. Um, <laughs> You're okay. Um, can you talk about what you saw in Canoe to not just sign her, but also believe that she can continue to excel in this league? Um. She played for my former team, uh, Linköping in Sweden, uh, a couple of years ago. She did really well. And what we have seen is that players that have been really good in, in the Swedish league, they have also shown that they can uh, do good performance in, in better leagues like in, in England or, or US, I would say. So she was, uh, I think she was the second best goal scorer the, the second year she did in Sweden. It was only Stina Blackstenius that did it better. And Stina Blackstenius is a top player in the Swedish national team and, and also for Arsenal. So that's what I've seen in the performances from, from her. But and she's only 25, if I remember right, 20, 25, 26. So she still can learn and do things better. But um, she will help us a, a lot this year. And then uh, last question. Is there any update on Jay Howell's leg injury? Not yet. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other questions for Kim? We are all set. Kim, you're off the hot seat. 